it has been almost a year since I have gotten this hair done. So it is time, it is time, it is time. Hey y'all, if you're new here, my name is Vimi Queen. I am a travel creator based in LA and today I'm taking you guys with me to get this hair done. I've been going to a curly hairstylist for about a year and a half now although i moved to la six months ago and i have yet to find a curly hairstylist here however i made an appointment for tomorrow so i am gonna be showing you guys how i prep for my hair appointment tomorrow and i'm also gonna, the day of my appointment i'm gonna bring you guys along to see what it's like to go to a curly hair specialist first things first whenever you go to a curly hair stylist you need to wash your hair either the day of or the day before you go to your appointment. And the reason why is because Silas needs to see how your curls are when they are naturally hydrated. So if your curls have been dry for four, five, six days, they can't see the natural curl pattern. So you do have to wash your hair before. And for the most part, they typically ask you not to use any oils. Luckily, I do not use any oils in my hair routine, but I'm gonna show you guys how I style this hair after I take a shower and wash it. So let me get dressed. I just got out the shower. This is what my hair looks like, naturally wet. I shampooed and conditioned with something that came in PR. It wasn't anything special, but I am gonna show you guys how I style my hair. And I'm also gonna tell you my hair journey while I'm styling it. So let's get into it. I only use two hair products for styling, and that is the Mayo, leave-in conditioner and the Mayel curl defining mousse. I was using oils so much, so much before I, got, before I started going to a curly hair stylist in Pennsylvania, but she was the one who educated me on my hair and also how to care for it. And one of the things that she told me to stop doing immediately was using hair oils, which I was super surprised about because everyone talks about how you need to seal the moisture with oil, seal your moisture. And she was like, no, it's just sticking in your hair and it's making it heavy and your hair just feels like way down. So she told me that your hair will stay moistured as long as you take care of it in the beginning and spritz it maybe once every other day but you don't have to use oils i think i was overdoing it with the oils so i'm actually really happy that she told me that and as soon as i stopped using all the oils in my hair my hair was growing back so quickly so quickly so i'm taking the leave-in conditioner i'm just rubbing it all throughout my hair i usually stock up on my L products when they have a sale and they have a sale about like four times a year where the products i think are eight dollars a pop so it is a pretty great sale Otherwise, you can get my L products at Target or at Walmart, so they have them at both. Uh, this is how much I'm putting in every time I rub through it. I just wanna make sure my hair is coated in this stuff. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with the curl mousse. So I use a finger coiling method to keep my curls tight. It helps them stay moisturized and it also helps my hair last longer. And I'm going to finger coil every single curl. So I just rub this on the back here and then Take a small section and just a finger coil. You can see how short it looks when it's coiled, but when it's stretched, it's super long. But I'm gonna do this all throughout my head. Now onto my hair journey. So I have never used relaxers, but I straightened my hair a ton when I was in middle school and it left my hair really damaged, but I didn't know how to care for my natural curls. Like most people that are probably watching this video, no shade, I get it. I decided to go natural in 2018, so it was near the end of my college experience, and I was doing everything that people said on YouTube. So I was doing like hair mask that was made out of mayonnaise, honey, and olive oil. I would do the long deep condition, conditioner uh, treatments i would do hot oil treatments that i found at lush i was doing all the things i have been natural for about four years when i was completely and totally tired of trying with hair i was just like i want to be a short hair girly i don't want to have long hair anymore i'm over this i also used to do protective styles all the time and i was like yeah this even the protective styles it's just not enough i just don't want hair anymore so i decided to go to a curly hair specialist so that she would cut off my hair and she would style the leftover hair in like this cute uh tapered cut i went in march of 2022 and i went to a hairstylist in pennsylvania i was living in delaware at the time so it was really hard to find someone in my area so i think i drove like an hour and a half to go get my hair done by this woman 
and it turned out really cute i love my hair again she was the one who taught me how to style and take care of my hair which i didn't know how to do and i pretty much had a fresh start because my hair was so short like i did not have any hair y'all it was like the typical auntie cut but it was really really cute like i loved it i went back to her another seven months later my hair had grown and she had showed me how to style my hair while it was growing and like how to maintain it at that point i had already developed this method which is what i'm doing right now since i've moved to la i have been really really scared to go to curly hair specialists there are a ton of curly hair specialists here in LA but it's a matter of going to the right one so this is how I find a curly hair specialist online I will type curly hair specialist in the search bar on Instagram which a lot of people don't use a search bar on Instagram and I totally get why but it's just easier for me to find them on Instagram I'll type that in Instagram or I'll type in like the city so like Los Angeles curly hair specialist and a bunch of people will pop up when I go to their profiles I will look to see if they have styled anyone whose hair looks like mine a lot of times I'll see white girls with curly hair and like no shade to them but their hair is just different like my hair needs different products compared to a white girl that has curly hair so I will look to see if they have someone who has 4C hair on their profile even though I don't have 4C hair I will look to check to make sure they have someone on their profile with 4C hair how their hair came out and then I will make an appointment it took me a while to find someone in LA because even though there are a ton of specialists there's also a ton of people and they didn't have a lot of appointments available sometimes not for the right price i was paying like 315 dollars for a hair treatment which normally is a haircut a hair wash um some steaming treatments and uh like scalp treatment if you will um and then also comes with the hair education which i think is really the valuable part is them telling you how to do your hair especially with so with my hair like hair around my edges i would say is 4a but as you get closer to the crown of my head it's actually 4b so i need someone to help me with the different textures that are in this head right like and you need to be qualified to do that so i don't mind paying the money but again i didn't start doing this until very recently until i had the disposable income to get my hair done in this way i'm really happy that i did because it paid off like look how long my hair is this is crazy like this is how long it is but y'all never see it like that because i will finger coil it like this is how long it actually is this is how long it is after i finger coil like and also who's gonna be able to tell you that so anyway i needed someone who would show me how to do my hair now that it's long because even though i have been doing this like finger coiling method for a while my hair is just getting so long like i don't know if i can do it for much longer I'm hoping that tomorrow when i do go to the salon that she will um help me out and tell me how to deal with my longer hair i also desperately need a trim like i said it's been almost a full year since the last time i went to my curly hair stylist in pennsylvania so if you live in la or if you live in another main big city you can definitely find a curly hair specialist but know that the value at least what i think is the value of going to a curly hair specialist is being educated on how to care for your hair because once you take that knowledge and actually apply it your hair will do miraculous things and people ask me all the time like how do i get my hair to do that how do you get your hair? i didn't know how to do this inherently y'all like somebody had to teach me and it took me up until i was 26 years old to learn so just keep that in mind okay i'm gonna finish the rest of this head and i will show you guys what it looks like after i finger coil with the mousse so i just finished finger coiling my hair you can see the mousse is still in it i've completely saturated my hair in mousse which is what you want it takes me about 30 minutes in total to do this whole head and again you can see like how long my hair is so to make this set and to also get my hair to kind of shrink a little bit i'm going to diffuse it for about 10 to 15 minutes i don't diffuse it until dry because I live in a pretty dry climate so it's kind of like my version of a wash and go but i'm just gonna try to get most of the white of the product to go away i use a very very old remington blow dryer uh, i'm gonna blow dry my hair on cool heat but i'm gonna put it on the highest air possible i believe this blow dryer came with an attachment i don't even remember this is actually my mom's and i took it from her a long time ago so mom if you're seeing this Thank you. I'm gonna show you guys how I actually do my blow drying method. Again, I'm not gonna blow dry until dry. All 
All right, so my hair is mostly dry. You see I have some longer curls here in the front. But it is mostly dry. It has shrunken a little bit, but again, my hair is pretty long. Really looking forward to getting this trim tomorrow. Uh, so tonight when I go to bed, I'm just gonna wear my bonnet. Uh, since my hair is longer, I can just wear a regular bonnet that you can get from a beauty supply store. I think I got this one from Target. But when my hair was really, really short, like in the tapered cut, I actually used a satin scarf so I could tie it really tight to my head and that way my curls would, would pop in the morning. Tomorrow, I'm gonna show you guys how I take my hair out and just fluff it for the day before I go to my appointment. Today is the day of my appointment. Ah, I'm so excited. And I'm also a little bit nervous. You know that feeling when you go to a new stylist, you're like, ah. Is this gonna be good? I hope. I did do my morning routine and I worked out. I worked out with my bonnet on, but I'm gonna take it off for you guys and show you how I refresh. So I just fluff it like so. I will get the back as well. I just try to make sure that the curls are brought to life again. This takes me like less than 10 minutes. And like I said, my hair will last a week when I wash it, so. All right, so this is the final fro look before I go get my hair done. Let's get in the car. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Made it to Beverly Hills. I am parked in a parking garage. So the stylist did text me on my way here that she was running a little bit behind because someone else showed up late. I do appreciate communication, so love that, but let's go. Her salon is located in Beverly Hills and actually on the way in someone stopped me to tell me how much they liked my hair. This was a private salon where there's individual suites and I actually really like this setup. I think it's really nice and personable with you and the client. I don't know. It's so freeing because you know you go on like a family vacation and you got to do something because like your nephew want to do something or like your cousin want to do something and you got to be like dragged along to do it. Like you don't have to do that. And like if you like plan to go to dinner and all of a sudden you're like I don't feel like going to this dinner. You could just not go. We were talking while she was cutting all of my curls. So she started out giving them just an initial trim and seeing what my curl pattern was like all throughout my head. Before she even started this, she also asked me what type of shape I wanted for my hair. And I wanted to keep the same shape. I just wanted the ends to be trimmed and I didn't want any finger quills. So I wanted it to be long. So she just finished trimming all the curls and now she's gonna do a wash and uh, shampoo and clarifying because I have not clarified shampoo in a long time. She just explained to me what it was, so yeah. She also did another shampoo after the two rounds of clarifying shampoo and then did a round of conditioner and then put me under the dryer for that. It always just feels so nice to me to have someone else wash my hair. This is good. Real good. Work it through really good. With creams, I don't go section by section because I just feel like it will overload the hair with product sometimes. Okay. So I like to kind of just do that all at once so it's not it's tripping all over me. Now it was time for the styling. So she had me shake my hair out after she put all the product in it. And then I did go back under the dryer to make sure my hair was totally dry before she went over again to diffuse it. And also did some clippings to make sure the shape was really nice. This is how it came out. Even from the back, it looks so good. Oh my gosh. Back home and this is the final look. Let me give you guys a close up. Look how defined my curls are. Stop playing, it came out so good! What? Okay, let me show you the back, hold up. I, obs I, obsessed is not even the word. Obsessed is not even the word. Thank you guys for coming along with me to my now new hairstylist. All her details are gonna be in the description box, but if you guys like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and I will see y'all in the next vlog. I'm gonna flip my hair all night. <laughs> Bye!